Hello, everyone. I believe many people don't know what love is. Maybe inside of their mind, they may believe love is how you make me feel. So when you make me smile, I love you. When you give me presents, I love you. In essence, when you do what I want you to do, I love you. So only when I benefit from you, that is when I love you. I don't think that is love. And you may ask me, well, Kevin, what is love? Well, if I love you, you know, I am not going to say we are going to be perfect, but in essence, when I love you, I am going to respect you. I am not going to insult you often. I am not going to cuss you out often. I am not going to belittle you often. I am not going to purposely, keyword, purposely, I am not going to purposely cross your boundaries. If I do those things, I believe it shows a lack of love. Probably not love at all. Okay. If I love you, I am not only going to love you when times are good. I am not going to be like, you know, for a week, I love you. But when something goes wrong, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. So, I love you the week after, but I hate you the, the month after. So, it's this love, hate, love, hate, love, hate thing. In my opinion, that is not love. What some people call love is a selfishness. If you don't serve me, I don't love you. If you correct me when I am wrong, I don't love you. Because if you love me, you would not correct me. You will take my abuse. You will take my insults and bad behavior. You are not going to tell me when I am wrong. So you telling me I am wrong. You confronting me when I am wrong shows me a lack of love, which is insane to think in that way. The problem is you don't know what love is. What you know, you know of being selfish. Well, Uncle Kev, when I was younger, my needs were not met. So, you know, as a survival instinct, I learned bad behavior to get my needs met. I learned to lie a lot. I learned to manipulate. I learned to be a hypocrite. I learned very bad things. And I understand what you are saying, but you have to understand that it's not good. And you may not know what love is. Because how in the world for a month, two months, three months, you say you love a person, but so quickly you jump out of love. How, how was that love? Unless I am wrong, how was that love? How is it you jump from relationship to relationship to relationship and always 
in the beginning, you so-called love a person very quickly, but maybe shortly after, you don't like that person. You, you have to ask yourself, is that normal? Is what I am doing normal? How is it I am so much in so-called love with a person in the beginning, but somehow shortly after or a while after, I hate that person. You have to ask yourself, is that normal? And I am going to tell you that it's not normal. Jumping from one relationship to the next, 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 that is a problem. You can't say that it is the other person's fault. Okay, you've been with how many people in your lifetime? 20, 30, 40, 12? And you are telling me out of 20 people, out of 40 people, it is all of their fault. Not you, no. It is their fault. You really can't be serious. In the past, perhaps, we had no control of who our parents were. Like, we could not pick, like, hey, God, I want these parents, or I want that mom and dad. I believe for many of us, we did not have that choice. And uh, many of our parents were, were bad were very 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 bad and you may have grown up in a very abusive environment maybe they insulted you a lot maybe they did things to you they should have not maybe your needs were not taken care of, which is very sad. So you did things no matter if it was right or wrong, you did things to survive. And I believe many of us have done wrong things. Now that you are an adult, now that you can work and do things the right way, choose to do things in the right way. Not to say what you were doing as a child was right, but you can't continue to use your parents as an excuse of why you continue doing wrong things. Like you have control, right? Don't you have control of what you say and the way you behave? Yes, your parents were, are a mess, but you may live away from them. So, if you are choosing to speak badly, to behave badly right now, whose fault is it now? Well, Kevin, when I was younger, okay, okay, okay. But aren't you able to change now? Are you listening to what I am saying? Can't you change now? Can't you control the way you behave. 
I understand you may want people to feel sorry for you. You may want people to take care of your needs. So you may lie and manipulate and blah, 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 blah. Those things need to stop. If you want help, ask for it. Don't manipulate a person. If they tell you no, then ask someone else. Well, Kevin, I have to lie. I have to uh, exaggerate. I have to tell uh, part truth and the other side is a lie. I have to do those things to get what I want. Well, how long is that really going to last? How long? Do you know when you are going to die? No, Kevin, I don't know when I am going to die. Okay. So aren't you taking a very huge risk in living the way that you are living now? and behaving in the way you are behaving now. You may tell me, Kevin, I don't care. I think you do care. But let me stop here. May God bless us.